Hello everyone, it is Friday morning, February 18th, 2022, and there are some big moves happening on the stock market. One of the most notable is shares of Roku falling 27%, continuing a slide that has shares down 70% in the last six months. The big news today is that Roku reported earnings for the fourth quarter after the market closed on Thursday, and revenue was up 33% to $865 million, and active accounts jumped 17% from a year ago to $60.1 million, and revenue per user jumping 43% to $41.03. But investors are worried that growth is slowing rapidly for Roku. Revenue per user was up less than a dollar from a quarter earlier, and management said they expect revenue to actually fall to $720 million in the first quarter of 2022. Now, this was a hot pandemic stock, but is the ride over for Roku? Before we get there, I want to remind you to subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications for breaking stock news and great investing insights. Now, back to Roku. Management said that supply chain challenges have hurt sales recently. And remember that Roku's business is primarily inserting its operating system as the default for TV manufacturers. What I think we need to keep in mind is that the tailwinds behind Roku's business remain largely intact. TV manufacturers want a reliable operating system and they're turning to Roku. Streaming companies need distribution and they're turning to Roku. And Roku's content and advertising business continues to grow steadily as well. It looks like investors are just adjusting growth expectations and that's what's causing the stock to drop, not the fact that Roku's business is broken. Remember that shares are up 300% in the last five years and Roku is now profitable, reporting net income of $242 million in 2021. This may be a broken stock for now, but this is not a broken company and that presents a buying opportunity for investors. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications for the latest on your favorite stocks. Until next time, fool on everyone.